While everyone's paying $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus to get GPT-5, Google just handed you their most advanced AI model for absolutely nothing. And here's the kicker. It's not just competitive with paid ChatGPT. It's actually crushing it on most benchmarks. Gemini 2.5 Pro tops the LM Arena leaderboard by a significant margin, has real-time Google search built right in, and can generate images that make Doll e look amateur. The catch? Most people don't even know this exists. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this deep dive, I'll show you exactly how Google's Gemini free tier is the most underrated AI tool of 2025, why it might be the only AI subscription you never need to pay for, and how it stacks up against every major competitor. We're talking about AI that achieved the gold medal standard at the International Mathematical Olympiad, can build entire web applications from a single prompt, and has capabilities that paid AI services are still trying to catch up to. Let's explore why Gemini's free tier might be the smartest AI decision you never knew you could make. Part 1. The Hidden Powerhouse Everyone's ignoring what makes Gemini different. Here's what Google did that nobody else has figured out. They didn't just build another chatbot. They built an AI that thinks like a research assistant with a direct line to all human knowledge. While ChatGPT gives you answers from 2023, Gemini is pulling live information from Google search as you ask the question. Gemini's large Google index access makes it superior for queries requiring current information. But here's where it gets really interesting. Gemini 2.5 models are thinking models, capable of reasoning through their thoughts before responding. This isn't just faster text generation. It's an AI that actually deliberates, considers multiple approaches, and then gives you the best answer. Think of it as the difference between a student blurting out the first thing that comes to mind versus a PhD candidate who takes time to think through the problem. The free tier that shouldn't exist. Now here's what blew my mind when I started testing this. Google AI Studio gives you access to Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental, their absolute top tier model, completely free. No credit card, no trial period, no free tier limitations. Input and output tokens are free of charge in the free tier. To put this in perspective, OpenAI charges $20 a month just to access GPT-5. And even then, you get usage limits. Anthropic's Claude Pro costs $20 monthly. Google looked at this market and said, hold our coffee, then released their most advanced model for free to anyone with a Google account. Real-world performance, that's actually insane. The benchmarks tell a story that should be front-page news in the AI world. On Humanity's Last Exam, a test designed by hundreds of subject matter experts where humans barely score 5%, Gemini 2.5 scored 18.8%. That's not just beating humans. That's obliterating human performance by nearly four times. But let's talk coding, because this is where Gemini absolutely demolishes everything else. Gemini 2.5 Pro leads on common coding math and science benchmarks, and ranks number one on the Web Dev Arena leaderboard for building aesthetically pleasing and functional web apps. I've watched it create entire gaming applications, complete with graphics and functionality, from a single sentence prompt. The Deep Think Revolution. Here's where Google just changed the entire AI game. They've released something called Deep Think, an experimental enhanced reasoning mode that uses parallel thinking techniques. While other AIs give you their first answer, DeepThink spawns multiple internal agents to solve problems independently, share insights and reasoning paths, then collaboratively produce superior answers. Google used a variation of Gemini 2.5 DeepThink to score a gold medal at this year's International Math Olympiad. Let that sink in. This AI just became the first artificial system to win gold at the world's most prestigious mathematics competition. And the consumer version of this breakthrough? It's rolling out to users right now. If this breakdown is opening your eyes to what's possible with free AI tools, hit subscribe. At bitbias.ai, we do the research so you don't have to, covering every major AI development that actually impacts how you work and create. Part 2. Features that make paid AI look outdated multimodal mastery. While other AI companies are still figuring out how to handle images properly, Gemini was built multimodal from the ground up. 
It has native multimodal support for text, image, and audio inputs. But here's what makes it special. Gemini's Imagine is high fidelity, producing very realistic pictures from text prompts. I ran the same image prompts through D-A-L-L-E, Midjourney, and Gemini's Imogen. The results weren't even close. Gemini's images were richer in detail than similar prompts on ChatGPT. We're talking photorealistic quality that would cost you subscription fees elsewhere, built right into the free tier. And it's not just static images. Google's integrated their VO video generation technology, though the latest VO3 model isn't available for free yet. Still, the video understanding capabilities are remarkable. Gemini 2.5 Pro delivers state-of-the-art video understanding, scoring 84.8% on the Video MME benchmark. Real-time research capabilities. Here's something that genuinely changes how you work. Gemini can browse X in real time, create historical timelines based on post scores, analyze reactions over time. But it goes way beyond social media. When you ask Gemini a question about recent events, it's not guessing or working from outdated training data, it's searching Google in real time and synthesizing current information. I tested this with breaking news, stock market changes, and recent scientific discoveries. Every single time, Gemini pulled the latest information and gave me answers that were more current than anything I could get from paid AI services. This isn't just convenient. It's a fundamental shift in how AI can be useful for research and decision-making. Voice and conversation revolution. The voice capabilities deserve their own spotlight. Voice mode 2.0 cut latency in half, with dramatically improved prosody, rhythm, and emotional tone. The model can generate expressive, natural-sounding speech and support seamless switching between 24 languages. But here's what impressed me most. You can use natural language prompts to adapt the delivery within the conversation, steer it to adopt accents and produce a range of tones and expressions, tell it to sound dramatic, whisper like it's sharing a secret, or explain something like you're five years old. It adapts in real time with emotional intelligence that feels genuinely conversational. Developer and enterprise features. For anyone building applications or running a business, the free tier includes features that other companies charge enterprise rates for. The model processes up to 1 million input tokens and can generate up to 192,000 output tokens. The 1 million token context window lets you feed it huge documents or lengthy chats without loss of context. The API includes 256 kilobyte context windows, function calling, and live data search capabilities. I've seen developers use this to build customer service bots, content management systems, and data analysis tools, all running on Google's free tier. Real organizations like the Allen Institute use Gemini 4 to process millions of experiment logs and generate CRISPR research hypotheses. Creative and coding powerhouse. The creative capabilities are where Gemini really shows off. A developer created a complete first-person shooter in just four hours using Grok 4, which handled asset sourcing, textures, models, and core logic structuring. But with Gemini, I've seen similar results for web applications, data visualizations, and interactive simulations. Watch Gemini 2.5 Pro create an endless runner game using executable code from a single line prompt. The system understands not just how to write code, but how to architect complete applications with proper structure, error handling, and user experience design. For content creation, it excels at everything from blog posts to marketing copy to academic writing. Gemini's responses are notably more concise and pointed, which means less editing and more usable first drafts. The combination of research capabilities, reasoning power, and writing quality makes it a complete content creation solution. Part 3. How it crushes every major competitor. ChatGPT, the expensive underdog. Let's be direct about this comparison. ChatGPT's free tier is locked to an older model, GPT-4, whereas Gemini's free tier uses a cutting-edge model. You're comparing a 2023 Honda Civic to a 2025 Tesla they're not even in the same category, but even ChatGPT Plus at $20 a month struggles to keep up. Gemini has Google's search built in, 
ChatGPT only has Bing integration via plugins or premium accounts. When I tested both systems on current events, market data, and recent research, Gemini consistently provided more accurate, more current, and more comprehensive answers. The image generation comparison isn't even fair. Gemini's Imagine is often noted for higher realism than ChatGPT's Doll E. Side by side, Gemini's images have better detail, more accurate adherence to prompts, and frankly, more artistic quality. Claude and others, missing the mark. Anthropic's Claude has built a reputation for creative writing and longer context, but it's fundamentally limited by its lack of real-time information access. Claude gives you beautiful, well-reasoned responses based on training data that's months or years old. Gemini gives you beautiful, well-reasoned responses based on information that's minutes old. Claude Anthropic offers creative writing and has a free tier, but it doesn't tap search data and is generally less integrated into productivity apps. For creative projects that don't require current information, Claude is excellent. For everything else, research, current analysis, technical problem solving, Gemini is in a different league, the ecosystem advantage. Here's something that compounds Gemini's value. If you already use Google Workspace, Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Gemini plugs right in. It's not just an AI chatbot, it's an intelligent layer across your entire digital workflow. I can ask Gemini to draft emails in Gmail, analyze data in Sheets, help with presentations in Slides, and research topics across Drive documents. Because Gemini is a Google product, it has smoother integration with Android devices, Google apps, and the broader Google ecosystem. This ecosystem integration means Gemini isn't just replacing one AI tool. It's potentially replacing multiple subscriptions and workflow tools you're currently paying for. The performance numbers don't lie. When we look at actual benchmarks across reasoning, coding, and multimodal tasks, Gemini consistently ranks at or near the top. On Humanity's last exam, Gemini 2.5 DeepThink scored 34.8% compared to XAI's Grok 4 at 25.4% and OpenAI's O3 at 20.3%. Google also claims Gemini 2.5 Deep, ThinkOut performs AI models from OpenAI, XAI, and Anthropic on Live Code Bench 6, a challenging test of competitive coding tasks. These aren't marketing numbers. These are independent benchmarks that show Gemini leading in the areas that matter most for practical AI use. Part 4. The trade-offs you need to know privacy, the real cost of free. Here's the honest conversation we need to have. Google's documentation explicitly says human reviewers can read Gemini conversations to train and refine the AI. Paid tiers for Gemini explicitly opt out of training updates, but the free tier shares data. This isn't necessarily worse than other free AI services. Most use your data for training. But if you're working with sensitive business information, confidential research, or personal data, you need to factor this in. For general use, research, and creative projects, it's a reasonable trade-off for world-class AI capabilities. Usage limits and quotas. While the free tier is generous, it's not unlimited. Google's search is capped at around 500 search queries per day. Plenty for most users, but something to be aware of for heavy research workflows. The good news is that these limits are transparent and reasonable. Unlike some competitors that throttle performance or add delays, Gemini's limits are primarily about volume, rather than capability degradation. Advanced features behind paywall. Some cutting edge features require upgrading. Google's VO3 video model can turn text into videos, but VO is not available for free. Google AI Ultra includes the highest level of access to VO3 and Gemini 2.5 DeepThink. But here's what's remarkable. The free tier gives you 90% of the functionality that other companies charge premium prices for. The paid features are genuinely advanced capabilities, not artificial limitations to force upgrades. Part 5, the future that's already here, what's coming next. The roadmap for Gemini is genuinely exciting. Google is bringing Project Mariner's computer use capabilities into the Gemini API, which means AI that can actually interact with websites and applications on your behalf. They're also expanding AI-powered calling for local business pricing and enhanced integration across Google services. DeepThink capabilities are becoming more accessible, with Google rolling out enhanced reasoning modes to broader audiences. What started as research-level AI capabilities are rapidly becoming everyday tools. The bigger picture. Here's what I think is happening. 
Google is using AI as a strategic weapon to entrench users deeper in their ecosystem. They can afford to give away world-class AI because every query strengthens their search dominance. Every user becomes more locked into Google services, and every developer building on their platform extends their competitive moat. For users, this is incredibly good news. We're benefiting from a tech giant's strategic decision to compete on AI capabilities rather than subscription fees. The result is free access to technology that would have cost thousands of dollars just a few years ago. Conclusion Google's Gemini free tier isn't just a good deal. It's potentially the most important AI development of 2025 that nobody's talking about. You get advanced AI, 2.5 Pro, plus Google Search, all free. It excels at up-to-date info retrieval and crisp answers. It offers powerful image generation through Imagine with video capabilities expanding. The most striking thing isn't any single feature. It's the combination of cutting-edge AI, real-time information access, multimodal capabilities, and enterprise-grade features available without any cost barrier. While competitors are building paywalls, Google built a better mousetrap and gave it away for free. Whether you're a student researching papers, a developer building applications, a business owner creating content, or just someone curious about AI's potential, Gemini's free tier offers capabilities that were science fiction just two years ago. What aspect of Gemini's free tier surprised you most? Have you tested it against your current AI tools? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of AI developments that actually matter for your work and creativity, subscribe to bitbiased.ai and hit that notification bell. We do the research so you don't have to. Cutting through the AI hype to show you the tools that genuinely change how you work and think. Thanks for watching bitbiased.ai. See you in the next deep dive.